businesses and progressives, Democrats and Republicans, will try to sneak a bipartisan amnesty bill through Congress lame duck session in December as voters are distracted by Christmas, say pro-American immigration reformers. This is why they come back for a lame duck, so they can accomplish all the things they could not do when the voters' eyes on them, said Rosemary Jenks, the director of government relations for Numbers USA. The lame duck session is scheduled for December because GOP and Democratic leaders stalled 2019 spending bill for the Department of Homeland Security and the border wall. Without 2019 funding, some subsidiary DHS offices will close in December. One huge danger ahead, said Jenks, is that retiring House Speaker Paul Ryan will push an amnesty bill to help Wall Street and the cheap labor lobbyists in Washington. I fully expect that Paul Ryan will do as much as he possibly can on his way out the door because he is just on the other side of the public's preference for a low immigration, high wage, economic policy, she said. The big fear is that we go back into White House, talks about exchanging DACA for a border wall, she said. That is not acceptable because a wall, alone, is not going to have a significant impact on illegal immigration. For example, cartel smugglers advise their illegal migrant clients to claim asylum and to bring children, because those tactics trigger the catch-and-release law. Paul also, Trump's higher American, no amnesty policies are successfully pushing voters' wages up before the 2020 elections. Wages are rising because CEOs complain they cannot hire additional cheap legal immigrants or visa workers, and because they increasingly risk prosecution if they hire even cheaper illegal migrants. The green card giveaway was added in a surprise last-minute move by Yoder to the 2019 spending bill for the Department of Homeland Security. The Yoder giveaway was combined with a rollback of border security, plus an expansion of H-2A and H-2B work visas for farmers in the landscaping industry, and it was sweetened with the promise of $5 billion for a border wall. GOP legislators knew Yoder's measure was unpopular, so they approved it via an anonymous, unrecorded voice vote. Washington knows the Democrats will be running the House next year, Jinx said. It is now a matter of stopping bad deals, that is what we need, GOP legislators, to focus on.